Uh, welcome to Comic Toy Reviews, and I just want to tell you what's going on. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for subscribing, uh, checking out this channel, checking out these videos. Uh, originally, it's been a couple of weeks since my, my intro video. What happened was I was setting up a space to do reviews, uh, like a set, setting up the area, and I already had s stuff there, some figures and books, and I didn't want to just put it away. I want to find room for it. Didn't want to put it in a closet. So when I finally set that display up, uh, I didn't have a, a window in it and the lighting was bad and it was too small and so I finally set up a, a new display a new area and it's going pretty good so I'll have my uh, first uh, videos up this weekend uh, and so that's gonna be cool as I said this will probably be a weekly or twice weekly uh, channel show uh, that's my plan uh, that's my goal and so it'll be a regular thing but that's why I didn't see a video for like uh, two weeks or so because uh, having time to set up the display and uh, not wanting to just put the figures in, or books away but finding room elsewhere at home to put them and so it's up and running and also a work in progress I might add I want to add like some background art to the display and some type of spinning uh, like a, a table to give like a 360 view when figures but as I said work in progress and finally got uh, some videos shot for that and by the time you see this they'll be on the channel so I want to also want to mention the big news this uh, month it's March 2011 is that the Thor movie action figures have finally hit you've probably seen the Sean Long uh, the war figures in, back in December that he was able to get probably from overseas or wherever he got it and but they're finally on the retail shelf and uh, here's something interesting about it uh, in Toys R Us they're in the nine dollar range so with tax one of those three and three quarter figures is like ten bucks or more at Target they were seven ninety nine and you know why I didn't get it yet was because I know Target's gonna do for two for ten or two for eleven dollar deal and I'll just get it then. It's like, from what I saw in the Thor line, other than Thor with the hammer and the full armor and the cape, that classic look, the other figures really, it's like, I, I don't want Thor with the glowing hammer or Thor with the exposed arms and no cape. And it's like, I think they missed a, a great opportunity in Thor in that, check this out. Wolverine line, you got Wolverine, movie versions, comic versions. Iron Man 2, movie versions, comic versions, even concept art versions. Captain America, which will be out later this year, the figures are going to have movie version, comic versions. Thor movie, movie versions only, no comic versions, no comic line as part of the Thor line. And I'm like, what? They just missed an opportunity, is my opinion. You mean, if they made comic versions, you missed out on comic versions of Odin, Sif, Warriors 3, uh, Bald of the Brave. You missed out on comic versions on characters that were related in the Thor line early on, such as Mr. Hyde was there, uh, King Cobra was there, uh, and it's like you could put the high evolutionary because he appeared in Thor early on it's like by not doing the comic versions it's like really just the movie versions and I I checked out what's the planned movie schedule it's like in terms of action figures it's like each wave Thor 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 Loki 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 it's like really you're gonna buy multiples of the same characters especially in today's economy when the budget of people is squeezed tighter and tighter and multiples of the same character in movie format at least with Iron Man multiples of the same character is justified because of he wore different armors and especially all the different comic armors so it's like yeah you want the comic accurate version of this character this suit of armor that suit of armor etc 
And even Captain America, which is coming out of comic versions, you get Ultimate Captain America costume. His ultimate look, first appearance, with that World War II look. You get the comic book version of him from the regular Marvel Universe. You get the U.S. agent, which was... Remember when Steve Rogers orig originally wore that costume? You get all these different Captain America costumes justified, but Thor movie, it's like, all you need is one or two Thor figures, maybe one or two Loki figures. That's it. And the destroy it all from the movie, it's very accurate to the comic, and you might want to paint the yellow on the, the eyes, that visor, gray or maybe black, but otherwise it uh, looks like a great destroyer figure, so that will definitely be a buy for me. Uh, I'll probably just get a classic Thor, I mean just one movie version, maybe one or two. Maybe a Loki, but the rest, uh, I'm really not feeling this Thor line as a must grab as a, and as a must get. But the very fact that the nature is, is that it's already March, it's already been out, I've seen it on the shelf and I didn't buy any yet. It's like that, that urgent need of wow. And from what I've seen in the stores, I really don't see people just grabbing it up like they did with the Iron Man stuff. And if anything, the Thor stuff's going to be there for a long time, let's face it, okay? It's not going to be gone, and even if it sells out, you'll get it again. Uh, but there's also one other figure that's particular of interest that I saw online. It's the 8-inch Destroyer they're going to make. The 8-inch figures are not in a card in terms of the bubble and protected. They're just from the card back, and they're pretty much exposed, you know? So I want to make sure, uh, if you get this 8-inch Destroyer figure from what I saw online, other than maybe uh, coloring in those yellow, like, visor eyes, it looks like a really great rendition of a comic book version of the Destroyer. And check this out. For your 6-inch Marvel Legends display, I would get that 8-inch movie Destroyer and put him with the Marvel Legends. It looks like it might be a match. Looks like you, this is something you could put in your Marvel Legends display. At eight inches, the destroyer in the comic books is normally taller than the normal character, so he probably is maybe a, a foot or two taller, and so he could mesh well with Legends. Uh, I don't have him in hand. I don't know when he's going to be out yet, but I'm going to keep an eye out on that eight-inch destroyer figure as a potential Legends candidate to get in there. And as for Thor movie, hopefully it'll be a hit, but at this point, I, mean, I really don't know. You know, it's hard to tell what the quality is with Marvel movies, what it's going to be. But I do know to stay till the end of the credits, because hopefully they'll always put a little something in at the end of the credits. So, that's it. Those are my thoughts on the Thor movie, the Thor action figures coming out and that are out now and uh, about this channel and what to expect. So subscribe, check it out, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.